next thing you know, they're dead. I'm looking over their body, have to go notify their family. It happens all the time. It changes your, your mood, uh, the way that you think, and the way that you talk, the way that you walk. Uh, there's a lot of different things that, that it alters. Anything that affects the body in a negative way is a drug. Uh, it is a depressant. It affects motor skills. It's just a drug that's accepted, and it can have negative consequences if you don't choose to make the right choices. You see these people that have crashes. They, they kill people that were unrelated. Um, you see people that are just good people that have made bad choices that lose everything they've got because of alcohol. I don't think kids or young people fully understand the effects that uh, alcohol has on their body uh, and the ability to slow down the motor skills uh, of underage people who are not fully developed in their motor skills. Prolonged drinking uh, will have health concerns. Liver damage uh, being the uh, most prevalent body part that's affected by the abuse of alcohol. It's Your Choice is a program that we started at Jenks High School with the help of the community to educate and raise the awareness of the effects of underage drinking and drinking and driving with our high school seniors, specifically at times when drinking is higher. For a lot of kids, this really puts them up close and personal with their own mortality that this actually could happen to them. The biggest event that changed my life um, was well before my brother was killed in a DUI wreck. I had an aunt that was also killed in a wreck. And she'd been out drinking that night, and uh, one of my brothers drove up on her along with I. That wasn't very easy. Uh, I had to seek counseling. Um, I had to be put on medication. Um, it took a long time for me to be able to deal with it. I'm still trying to cope with it today. If you have a crash, you're going 60 miles an hour, every part of your body is going 60 miles an hour. When that car stops, you don't. And you're going to go forward 60 miles an hour into that match. So get on a one-story building or two-story building and jump off. That's what Phil getting that dash is like. December 22nd of 2007, my life changed forever. A lot, a, a great deal of many people's lives changed forever. Me and a friend, we went out drinking to have a good time. And at some point in the night, we got into an automobile accident. I was driving the vehicle. He died in the accident. I got arrested, charged with first degree manslaughter, and uh, fought for my life. I could have done the next 20 years of my life in prison had his family not been as forgiving as they were. I received a very light sentence, five years probation. I haven't drank in any, any alcohol since December 22nd of 2007, and I, and I don't plan on drinking any alcohol because alcohol totally took away my life. So we have to get that air out of there. So what we do on that, we take the biggest needle we have, it's a two inch needle, 14 gauge, and what we do is go with your chest puncture a hole to let that air out. What motivates a teenager to drink? A lot of it has to do with peer pressure. They're hanging out with friends that drink. And so uh, friends will sometimes try to coach them into taking a drink. If they allow the peer pressure to take charge of their lives, then they will get into some type of a sense to where I'm going to go ahead and do this. It's fun. Once you drink and you like it, it's hard to quit. If you like Coca-Cola, so you drink it for a week, and then I tell you the next week it's bad for you, are you gonna quit drinking it? Probably not, because you've already acquired a taste, you already like it. So the other big thing about alcohol is we have to reach kids early, before they've tried it. It's Your Choice is a program that gives the kids realistic, on-site, hands-on information directly with the people who deal with the scene of the accidents or with people who have um, had problems with alcohol poisoning or 
just the reality of this is what happens when you drink, this is what happens when you drink and drive. So they get an up close and personal stories and interviews, um, the legal consequences they get directly from the police. So it helps to educate them so hopefully they'll make a healthier choice in the future if they choose, if they come across the decision to drink and or drink and drive. We put it on purposely at the week of prom because nationally this is a time when you, you see more drinking going on and kids kind of think that this is a rite of passage to do this. So we want to raise their awareness of the dangers of drinking and of drinking and driving. We started this program in 2006 and it was really just a collaboration with everybody in the community working together. Um, but we have not had an incident at prom involving alcohol since 2006. So we know that, yeah, it does make a difference for a lot of these kids that it does leave an imprint on them whether or not they make that decision to drink or not to drink. And I think another um, positive outcome of this program is the fact that we all work together. And it's a good example for other districts and for other communities to show that, you know, by working together, we can help provide safety and provide education for our students. And this is a program that costs no money at all. So it's just um, having great, you know, community leaders and great administration and school, you know, officials and parents that will come together and give of their time and volunteer to help keep our kids safe. Just recently, I had lost one of my best friends in the world and it was due to an overdose. And so um, that really motivated me to get involved with something and to find some way to reach out to my, my friends and not only my friends, but other people. The most effective part of that piece, I believe, is the uh, sound bite from the police officer who drove up on his brother and his aunt as they had been killed in accidents with drinking involved. And it just gives you an emotional side of um, what it's like. You get to see the uh, perception of somebody who's actually lost someone 